and it's all go. Welcome uh, to Parif TV. Today we have an exciting interview with uh, Tamar Caprielian, a musician. She has founded a group called Nevak, which means music really in Armenian, in 2015. And so far I have not heard about uh, Tamar before, and now I'm so excited to learn more about her and music. And what I've, what I've been able to find about her is very, very fascinating, very exciting. Uh, she is, uh, she really belongs, her playground is the world, global energy, global musicians. Uh, Tamar, before we continue, I have to ask you, uh, how are you coping these days with the coronavirus that is affecting each and every one of us? How are you handling it? Um, well, first of all, it's so nice to meet you, and thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm just as excited as you are. Yes, <laughs> um, you know, it's it's been an adjustment, and it's interesting to see how each person is adjusting and is continuing to adjust um, in their own way and in their own personal way. Um, if there's been one nice thing to come out of it is that I, I've been, I'm back in my family home in California. I, my husband and I live in New York and we came out to Los Angeles six weeks ago. And, um, before all of this started getting bad and we realized it would make more sense for us to stay here. And it's been nice to be able to reconnect with my family in a way that, I haven't for 10, 15 years. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that in times like these, you just, you have to refocus on the things that are important and family and um, the people you love and you care about. Nothing else really ma matters aside from that. We all miss the most basic things in life. We miss friends. We miss getting out with friends, having a coffee, saying hello. It's, it's just amazing. We will have to do a lot of adjusting after all this. Let's go to your uh, 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 NEVAC. NEVAC is a group you founded uh, uh, in 2015. You have traveled since then quite a few countries, especially I was so, uh, I know Armenia, okay, as an Armenian, you would go to Armenia, but Malawi, Israel, where do these come into the picture? I did say you are a global force, but tell us about the experiences in the countries you've traveled and why did you travel there? So I, I, um, I've been making music for a really long time. I, I went into the music business when I was 14. And I, one of the things that I realized is that you need good mentors. You need people in your corner who care about you and who are willing to put their time and their energy to help you get to that next level and i you know i was fortunate in in many ways that i was living in los angeles the music business is based here the entertainment business is based here so i got because of my talent i was able to get in front of a lot of important people and get through the right doors and 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 make the right connections if you're a talented young person living in armenia or in malawi or in let's say other places in the Middle East, uh, Lebanon, you don't have the same access that people in the West do. So I realized that there was a gap um, that, that these young musicians who on one on one level are, you know, they're connected to a global com community through, um, through technology, but didn't have access to the education that they needed to take their raw talent to the next level. So I wanted to use my resources, my contacts, my, um, my money to, you know, to start helping that younger generation and to, um, to, to help give them a voice. Just giving them a chance. That's such a beautiful uh, uh, thing to be able to do. You're kind of a philanthropist also. Honestly, as you said, you use your money, your time, your energy, giving young musicians a chance to move to the next stage, as you said. Uh, Tamar, tomorrow is a big day. Today is April 23rd. 
It's a Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Uh, we, as Armenians, uh, commemorate the 105th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide. But with you and Novak, you'll be releasing some beautiful songs and album. You must be very excited. I read the press release. Tell the people, what is it all about? So um, I, a year and a half ago, got, so Novak is a, is a nonprofit organization. Mm -hmm. And um, I got funding about a year and a half ago from an amazing um, man named Bahe Fatal, who um, is a renowned uh, artist, uh, Armenian artist. And uh, he said, you know, you're doing a really cool thing in Armenia. I really, I, I'd love to give you some money so that you can take some of our classic folk songs and do some modern interpretations of these works. And, um, you know, you, you have a platform to be able to, you know, put this music through um, on all the streaming platforms. Um, I want something uh, to exist out there that's that's made, um, that's quality music, that's made with um, up and coming artists in Armenia, um, you know, run with it. And I said, okay, uh, this is a cool challenge. I asked him to help me pick the songs um, and Vahe did and, and we picked five, uh, of Gomidas' folk songs that we both loved. And, um, you know, a year and a half ago started this process of, of curating young Armenian uh, female singers. I wanted it to be a, um, a compilation of, of female voices from Armenia. And, um, you know, I did some research and, and, and realized that I wanted um, uh, Sebu Simonian, who um, is a close friend of mine, who is uh, a member of the band Capital Cities, and I asked him to, yes, and these are the beautiful girls who, uh, um, right. who are singing. <laughs> <laughs> I, was able to, I was able to get this photo from you. Uh, give us an idea who these are. Tell me something about these girls. So they're all between the ages, they're all like 18, 19 year old, um, up and coming female singer songwriters. Um, the girl uh, to my, so I'm in the middle, the girl to my left, the immediate left is um, this singer named Brunette, who I don't know if you've heard of yet, but if you haven't, you will. Um, the she, white, with a white shirt or black shirt? With a black shirt. And she, the black has shirt. Hands, yeah, okay. she has her hands like this. Yes, yes. Um, she is, uh, she's actually um, getting a lot of attention in Armenia. She's, she's, uh, she has over 277,000 followers on Instagram okay. already. Now these girls are all from Armenia? They're all from Armenia. I see, yep. I see. Beautiful. Yep. Beautiful. And um, they each have very uh, unique voices. Mm. Um, and they, you know, this is their first real release on, a, you know, Warner Music is helping us put out these songs. Beautiful. So this is their first uh, time putting out music professionally. Some, for some of these girls, it was their first time behind a, a microphone. Mm. Uh, so it, it was a really, it was, it, it was a pretty intricate process. It took us a long time to do. And um, my uh, Sebu and um, another producer named Mikhail Boskanian um, produced uh, these five songs. You know, when I read the title of one of the songs which was made available, I cannot come out and play. I said, what kind of a song is this? Then I started, <laughs> I listened to it. Chem, 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 gerenada, halal. Everybody, every army knows it. But you know what makes the music, uh, what makes the song so beautiful are the instruments that are being used. Tell us about the instruments and what is it that brings out that very deep feeling towards that music? One of the things that we did is we kept the instrumentation simple. And I think that uh, that was done very deliberately in order to allow these female voices to kind of be at the forefront and for that to be the thing that shines and for that to be um, the, the, the voices carrying the narrative. Um, but, you know, we used, um, we had uh, uh, Mikhail plays Dar, 
So he's he's playing, um, it, you know, it's like a traditional Armenian instrument. Um, we had uh, um, this amazing uh, female kanon player. Um, we had a guitar player and that was pretty much it. And we had the girls arrange um, their vocals and do some background vocals. So the simplicity I think is what, um, is what makes these interpretations really, really, really beautiful. And, you know, just Mikhail's ear and his ability to, you know, take songs that he has grown up with and lived with, that we've all grown up with and lived with. And, and you know, me asking him and pushing him, please like make these sound um, like an interpretation that we haven't heard before. Tamar, this is just beautiful. I'm really happy and I hope we have been able to capture the song and your reaction. You were singing, you were transferred to another world and that's a beautiful world you go to as a musician. Uh, what is your advice to people who are pursuing music? And uh, we know the difficulties and uh, yet you have a dream and you are pursuing the dream and willing to pay the price for that dream. Give us an idea of what would you like to tell the younger generation. Uh, we don't want to sound morbid as we, uh, I would like to say we celebrate April 24th because we are alive, we are kicking, we are producing, we have a generation that's very healthy. So what is your message? You know, I, I think that um, it's really important to, um, it's it's important to have things in your life that you're passionate about and um, that truly, really make you happy. And um, I think the thing with music that's so powerful is that um, it's, it's a unifier. It brings people together and um, we feel the vibrations in... Um, in, in a way that like, for example, I could play, I could play these songs for someone who doesn't speak Armenian and um, they'll feel an emotion, they'll feel something from it. And I think that that's one of the things that makes music so powerful is that it has the ability to transcend and, and make people who don't even, you don't need to speak the same language, you don't have to be of the same race, of the same skin color, and you can just sit and appreciate what you are hearing. And um, I think for anybody who has the ability to do that, whether they sing or whether they play an instrument, if they have the ability to, to, as you were saying, transport people into another dimension, into another world, into another mental space, they should do it. Because um, every, everyone needs that stimulation in their life on, on some level. Um, and... Um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 uh, I'm, I'm a big um, advocate of, of people pursuing the things that they love and that they're passionate about. You know, you are releasing these five tracks on April 24th, and obviously the significance of April 24th, we all know that. What are your thoughts about the day? Um, I, I, you know, I like that you said that it was. Um, you know, it's, it's celebrating life. Celebration that that we're here, and I think that there's so many talented um, Armenians around the world, and um, it's a day to celebrate every single one of us. And um, I'm excited that you know, I think this next generation, these younger generations, they're just getting more savvy they're having they have more opportunities and i'm just so excited to see where our culture is going to go because we're just getting more global and we're getting um it's um it's it's exciting you know it's while obviously tomorrow is is a day of remembrance and a day of reflection um it's really a, a day also to celebrate the um, that we're still here and 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 we survived the 
you know, the horrific things that happened a hundred years ago. And I think that, you know, what better way to do that than, you know, through music and obviously um, through Gomidas's music. And, and I'm, I'm sure your audience knows what he had to endure and what he suffered during the genocide. And, um, and you know, I wanted to do something in, in his memory to continue his legacy um, and to also bring his legacy into a more global uh, audience um, to introduce Gomidas's music and, the, and Armenian music and Armenian voices to a more global audience um, is very, very important to me. And, and it's just interesting that April 24th falls on a Friday and that's when music gets released. So I, 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 I felt like it was, it was meant to be. You know, I know through the press release that uh, Novak is a 501 a nonprofit organization. Uh, let me ask you to give us information as to where, how can people secure these songs, these tracks? How, how do they go about it? And what can you tell us in terms of support if they want to support? Where can they write or connect? So, uh, so you guys can go to our website, um, which is www.navak.org. And um, there, you know, whether you want to support our musicians in Armenia and be patrons of our young musicians, um, you can do that there. If you want to, you know, one of the things I really want Armenians to do is to stream this music um, on Spotify um, and uh, on Apple Music because uh, the money goes uh, directly to these young women who are singing uh, the songs and whatever royalties that Navak gets through the music, it just goes back into their local communities uh, to help grow our network mm -hmm. of musicians in the country. Um, so, um, you know, whether you're streaming it or whether you're donating uh, to Navak um, through our website, you know, any any level of or or word of mouth, telling your friends about the work that we're doing and and um, any any little effort helps. Tamar, yete hayrnov char da edavis mikani parerov martik vras vidi boran. Yeah, hunters guy, I figured that he had an organic interview night. Oh, vesta chey tankler hayren kidek, amkleren kidek vesta chey abremen vesi abeli vesta alam amkleredi ertam. But it's make khosk mikani boran hayren idi love object ev zoramore. Մեր խոսքը մեր երնասարտության մեր ընդանիքներում որ այս օրերս գխնդրեն եւ գբան չեն այսպեսի ոգեորիչ ողջունի խոսք մեծ մեն ա նայեմ ինչ կրնամ ասեմ ինչ որ ասես լավ բիդոլա ո շատ շատ ուրախ եմ որ կրծա այսօր ծեր հետ խոսինք եւ եւ ի նո շատ ուրախ եմ որ կարող ենք մեր երդասարդ մեր երդասարդները եւ մեր ինչպես ասեմ լայք շագույթը Yeah I, I want to say something very nice I'm just trying to, I, I feel like I should have like prepared something Ասի քեզ ինչ որ ասես լավ բիդելա so հազար օր են խոսի um Նայր, հբարդ գսկամ, որ աս կորձերը գարող եմ ենեմ և որ, you know, ես, ինչ հաշտ այս է ես, I just feel fortunate, որ պաղտավոր գսկաս, պաղտավոր գսկամ, որ որ գնամ աս կորձերը երտապնեմ հայաստան և երտասարներուն ոգնեմ հոն և գուհուսամ, որ ամենիս հուզենք ասանք լավ կորձեր ենք, որ ոգնենք երտասարդիչունին և ինչ որ գարող ենք ենք, բետ կեն ենք, whatever we can do, we should do. Նվակ, նվակը, որ ոյվ է ժամանակ դիորքի գամ կալիվորնյո մեջ ունեցած է համերքներ, կոնսերտներ։ Չէ, չէ, թեր չեն կրած համերքներ։ Նվադագունի կնելու անակ պամը։ Այո, եվ 
کووین آراچ مک می‌ریر دست نرم بی پرینگ لس آنجلس یه بی پرینگ پایت زد یو نو ولورس هیما مشکلی می‌چه گای هیما که چه پازی می‌چه پایت گوهسام ور آمینی آمین کووید پاندمیک وقتی ات دایز دان بورگر نه یه دست نرم پرینگ یف یف همیشه منگ کم کنیم همیشه منگ. دامارانگر زوره نسیم هجیلی ره دت خوشیلی تگا پگمان خوش مبگوزه سنل سل آمپلرنوف گام هایرنوف تزیگ تکه. نه شش نرگال چون گهای نم کزی و بودم بودن زی از از پروگرامی ورا پریر یف یف Thank you for giving Thank you for giving me the chance to talk about the work that I'm doing It really means a lot. You're beautiful, your work is beautiful, and you beautify our lives with your music. Thank you very much. Have a good day. We'll come out of this coronavirus Absolutely. and we'll continue our life. Hopefully we'll see you on stage in New York area or Absolutely. whatever you may appear. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Thank you, thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.